The Greenville Police Department is now using a new gunshot detection system. It's designed to make our community safer. The shot spotter system went into effect last Thursday. WNCT's Courtney Allen joins us now live from outside police headquarters. And Courtney, this technology is already helping police track down suspects. Ken, that's right. This new technology tracks any outdoor gunfire, sending crucial information to police within 30 to 45 seconds. That allows them to get on the scene of crimes immediately, sometimes before people even have a chance to call 911 when moments truly matter. Rounds of gunshots ring out hundreds of times a year in the city of Greenville. When you have that level of gunfire, 500 to 1,000, let's just say, year after year after year, you, you have to do something about it. Now, Greenville police are using a new system called Shot Spotter, helping them better respond to shots fired. It takes a whole different approach from a police department. We no longer just drive through looking around. We can drive directly to the spot, we can get out of a car, and we can begin to talk to people in the community and ask them a simple question. Are you okay? Sensors detect gunfire immediately, sending that information to officers' phones. This is what pops up to the police officers. They actually get a map. They get an estimated range of where it's, it's taking place. Thanks to shot spotter intelligence, Officer Nick Carnavali made an arrest in a shooting on Kennedy Circle this week. We were able to develop a suspect, a suspect vehicle, and um, a general area of where they ran. Nick and his partner were able to catch him, and they recovered the weapon that was up here. And it just so happened that's the same caliber weapon as the shell casings that were located at that same location. It helps us in jury trials. Um, it's one thing to tell a jury there were two shots fired, but it's another to be able to actually play the recording for them and let them see the intensity of it. Greenville police say the goal is to reduce crime and injuries by at least 30 percent in the city of Greenville. We like to protect the community, so being able to get a violent offender is, is just a great feeling. GPD partnered with ECU Vidant, the Pitt County Sheriff's Office, and DA's office to bring this technology to Greenville. Police Chief Mark Holtzman says while this betters their response time to shots fired, that doesn't mean people should stop calling if they hear disturbances in their area. He also says that they're going to be working, working with Rocky Mount Police to start using a database to link shell casings to weapons. Live in Greenville, Courtney Allen, 9 on your side.